Okay, today we are looking at what I call our Father. I start with the song. Our Father, our Father who art in heaven, Amen. Hallowed be thy name. I saw a very interesting news report. It says that the Church of England is considering whether to stop referring to God as He after priests acts to be allowed to use gender neutral terms instead. The church said it would launch it, it would launch a new commission on the matter in the spring. I think people are becoming woke, which is problematic. Um, but let's go to scripture, Matthew chapter 6, verse 9, which is actually the Lord's Prayer. Um, in this manner, therefore, pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Of course, you know the Lord's Prayer is not something that is supposed to be recited. It was just given, you know, uh, the principles that should inform our prayer life. And of course, we refer to God as Father. It's true that sometimes we have dysfunctional families with horrible dads, incest, all kinds of things, in fact, becoming a tyrant in the home. And I think it behoves us as uh, godly parents to set a good example in terms of fatherhood so that our children can actually relate to God as fathers. Uh, but, I mean, uh, that there are bad examples show is immaterial in terms of God being our father. So it's someone that we can actually go to and tell all our issues because just like a good father, he listens and he's best in the place to take care of us. I'm just thinking what these guys will come up with next. But please keep referring to God as your father and use the correct term. He is our father, not a father or any other kind of neutral gender thing. And you will see your prayers being answered.